Uh, yeah. I mean, but at least, you know, at least that's like the only leak that happened last week. Or is it? Bum, dun, bum, dun, bum. dun. Elon gets more stuff leaked out of the leak. <laughs> I don't know. This, this is a great leak. This is a cool leak to have happen. The leak of nations? <laughs> Bad history pun. Uh, so Viv at Falcon Heavy on Twitter, of course, uh, posted the first uh, at least the first I had seen, but these were leaked images of the Starlink receivers. We finally are seeing like high image, high resolution images of the Starlink receivers. And they're just like Elon said, he said, it's basically a UFO <laughs> on a stick. And uh, we also have a few more pictures here from the Tesla show. I don't know where they got these particular ones from. Um, but yeah, they, they, I mean, some of them are the same, but this were they is like just a, at Elon's a, house or what? I don't know. I think these were official. I think someone pulled them from from Starlink.com, like found it in the website. Oh, got it. So these were official images. I so think. it looks like you can reposition it to face different directions. Well, that's what's crazy. So uh, basically, Elon says Starlink terminal has motors to self orient mm. for optimal view angle. No expert installer required. Just plug it in and give it a clear view of the sky. Can be in the in garden, on roof, table, pretty much anywhere, so long as it has a wide view of the sky. Yep. Hmm. So Not literally, you just you just stick it on top of something, and it's just going to self level and point itself at the optimal position. And that's it. That's really exciting. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't really show how big they are, though. There's no, there's no banana for scale. Yeah, <laughs> there is no banana for scale. It, it, from my understanding, it's, it, I think it's like a pretty normal sized pizza, you know. So, I, you know, I think we're talking, you know, twelve to that's fifteen inches. That's a very controversial dish. statement, there, yeah. Tim. <laughs> it can be. I mean, you're pro, you're closest to Chicago, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess a normal pizza, you know, like this big, <laughs> like your your arm span, right? One you need a spoon <laughs> to eat. Five inches thick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, for those of you uh, not able to see in the images or see our our hands waving around wildly <laughs> for different sizes, um, my guess would be somewhere between like. I don't know, uh, 30 to 40 centimeters for those of you that use that stuff ish. Good enough. 15 inches, know. 20 inches, something like that. Yeah. Um, that's cool. I can't, I'm actually super keen on this and I really hope cause, uh, Tim, you're going to help beta test it or something, right? Yeah. And then they opened up like a public beta. So I don't, there's going to be yeah. an employee beta and then like a public beta and, my guess, like my understanding too, just based on how many more they need to, how many launches they need, like I don't even think it's going to be operationally beta for like SpaceX employees hardly by the end of the year, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that's assuming that they get back to launching rockets, which they've, as we know, has been kind of scrub city lately. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like every vehicle has just been like, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ooh, hold on you know like it just it feels like everything's just on hold right now is that just um, wacky weather conditions i i think i think crappy weather and i think like i don't know it's, it feels like the reverse of go fever it, fe it feels like scrub fever it's like ooh, but mm, which is a good thing obviously you know as, as i say scrubs are cheaper than booms or scrubs are cheaper than ruds there we go rapid Watch unscheduled unscheduled disassembly, disassembly. yeah yeah. Um, but yeah, the, uh, but yeah, just based on like the, how many they've launched so far for the first six months, if they can launch that many again at the next six months, which they should easily be able to do, you know, we had, um, a lot more things kind of in the way for the first bit, including DM2 and stuff like that. Um, so if they, assuming they can launch as many as they did for, you know, the last six months, they, they should be close to operational, uh, at least like testing operational for employees, you know, where it's, in higher, especially like their Washington office, because they have people up in Washington, um, that higher latitude will have a lot better, um, a lot better coverage. So because it's might... closer to space, <laughs> it's yes. north, so it's closer to space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I should. I maybe here. I should probably pull up a, a thing to show why that is. Uh, why don't you guys keep talking? Um, well, I will my interest in it up. is for this whole concept, I'm trying to 
get away and like, you know, I had that idea of an off grid place and I wanted to do that. And it turns out that buying land in California is a joke because <laughs> every cool piece of land was bought 50 years ago and it's completely overrun because there's a gazillion people here. But I love the idea of having a second place for a studio and for filming and all this. And a lot of the places I'm looking at are kind of out in the sticks and the internet obviously is terrible out there. Um, so this is actually kind of like a key thing I'm really waiting on. Like, I think it would be, it'll actually, for my business, it'll actually be very beneficial. So, well, well we were talking, um, I think last week about these places in Italy where oh, they're, yeah. they're like, you can, you can get it for like a dollar, but you have to spend 20,000 or so over the next five years fixing it up. Like something yeah, like that. I'm still in, I am so in on that, but I don't I speak know, Italian. Right? Well, so. I was thinking like Starlink was what I was thinking for that. Like, so mm-hmm. you wouldn't have to worry about internet. Like you could, you could do all your work over there. Yeah. Assuming mm-hmm. you can afford to travel just the flights back and forth and assuming the United States travel. ever opens up again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah assuming we're allowed to. Um, but you know, or, I mean, in the meantime, maybe you guys all just build a studio here in, uh, oh, in, you know, in I Iowa. I hate you. Look I at this. Watch this. Just you. watch the speed test. Ping zero milliseconds, 6,700 megabits per second download, 7,800 basically upload. And who is this through? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't that absurd? So that's through a uh, municipality, Cedar Falls Utilities. Are you kidding yeah. me? Ten gig internet, baby. Apparently, <laughs> corn was the was the missing ingredient. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're all just uh, antennae. Yeah, yeah. We just use, we just link the corn together. Very and it's done. Super easy. Wow. Um, here, okay, that's so amazing. let me. Yeah, it is. It's honestly insane. Here, let me let me show you guys this picture of of what the Starlink. Uh, orbit kind of looks like just so we um th- this, this is what why I think the, it is oh no the, so it looks like it kind of looks like have you ever seen those um <laughs> i was showing my friends this and they th- said oh it looks like one of those pear holders you know the grocery store where they're like pears <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, yeah. there you go the, the yeah. asian pears the big yeah giant. yeah exactly or or like a finger trap which i think yeah. it's the same thing i think they're just reused finger traps it just like, looks like a net yeah there, there's yeah. there's probably a, a sexual toy that looks like that too but i don't know Pro- mm. probably but yeah rule whatever it was rule 36 or whatever yeah um but the deal is that they because of the the orbits and, and the inclinations at the northern latitudes they They're more kind of bunched together they really are bunched together so you can get really good mm. coverage where they just kind of it just is the way it works and then down near the equator there's bigger gaps so it'll take Whoa. quite a while before the you know before the equator areas and the lower latitudes are are covered as much as the northern latitudes. What about the southern latitudes though? Like if I went to yep. Buenos Aires, New Zealand or something. Yep. Yep. New, uh, that'd be great still. Yeah, if you know, New Zealand, Australia, yeah, uh, you know, southern Argentina, stuff like that, South Africa. It looks like have... Norway's getting the shaft. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Is that right? They just have yeah, to angle it, it, it down. does top off at a certain latitude, and you're right. Northern, wow. northern Norway will get the shaft for a while. I mean, eventually they could launch a specific <laughs> set that is like a little, you know, that goes Would over the top. Would it not work though? You just point it a different direction, right? I mean, it's just the angle. Well, it has to have. I mean, you might be able to still. I or don't you know. think that is it like angle, a line of sight? Yeah, like like the angle would be so far it'd be like pointing down to the ground. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, hmm. yeah. But the um, Earth is flat, so this isn't real. <laughs> Starlink's actually just a plane flying in a circle, and you just <laughs> point at it. But um, no, those very low northern latitudes. At some point, yes, like your. Although the good thing is, at the very top band, like we we're showing, uh, there's pretty much always going to be a satellite there. You know, so there probably is still an area where there's no overhead at all from you. You know, you're not anywhere near them overhead, but you could point your satellite dish south or if you're in the like in Antarctica, you can point it north. And that might be able to provide coverage just on that like horizon line. But it might be, you know, some situations where like, oh, there's now trees in the way or something, you know, a mountain in between you and the, the horizon that yeah. blocks your signal or something like that. I don't really know, but that is something eventually, you know, if there's a big enough market for them and they can make enough money to serve the, you know, we'll say 1 million people above that line and below <laughs> that line, you know, <laughs> I mean, I it's all just numbers there, but yeah, huh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, probably, yeah, probably not even a million people. It's crazy. <laughs> 
What does Denmark that, have? Like six hundred thousand in the whole country? No, Denmark's like three or four million. Norway's like around there too, and and Sweden and Finland's there. We got you know Siberia, all those people in Siberia. Well, when I first saw that <laughs> that that image, I was thinking like, oh, those poor like Eskimo and Inuit people up on the <laughs> up on the ice flows and stuff. But then I saw Norway, and I'm like, well, Norway and Finland are kind of out of it too. Yeah, but the, but the major population centers of Scandinavia are still in the southern you know sure, southern sure. portions of Norway, like Oslo and you know, and Sweden, they're all pretty, pretty far south. So it looks like those are still within that coverage, but go much north, you know, go up towards like Bergen or Olsund or something like that. And you might be getting out of that, that range there. So sorry to our viewers in Northern <laughs> Scandinavia, you might be screwed. Can I say something though, real quick about like, uh, how long ago was it that we first started hearing about Starlink? Not that, I mean, two years? Yeah, Wasn't two it and a half. Going in probably. front of the FCC, asking for permission, something like that. Elon started kind of talking about it. So the very first inkling, I think, that most of us kind of understood was when he hinted that they're trying to fundraise uh, Starship right. by stealing underpants. <laughs> you know, at that at 2016 IAC. Um, mm. I, I think that's like the first time that they had a plan basically of how to fundraise mm -hmm. or like pay for it. And he just wasn't ready to say that. And then we started hearing soon after that whispers of like a constellation an internet constellation. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like 99% of things that get said don't happen. Yeah. And then, and then there's things like this, and this could be said for a lot of things that have to do with, with SpaceX. And maybe this is why they're so fun to watch and everything is, but like they, they say they're going to do something and then they do it. And, and, and I mean, when we first heard that he was going to put his Tesla Roadster on the top of the first Falcon Heavy, it's like, ah, yeah. ah, ah, and then, and then next thing you know, you're, there's the star man floating <laughs> through space. And it's like, whoa, they actually did this thing that they said they were going to do. Yeah. Um, that's how I'm feeling right now with, with Starlink. It's like, it's actually starting to go up. We're seeing these, these receivers. It's actually a thing that's probably going to be available Couple in the next year now. or so. And it's just yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so real quick, I'm, I, I didn't realize I just looked up the history of Starlink the communication network was publicly announced in January 2015. Mm. I had no idea it was that long ago. Was um, that at the thing I was talking about, where Gwyneth was at the FCC asking for permission? Uh, no, because then it says they received FCC permissions in 2016, I think I saw. Oh, okay. Um, that's the first yeah. thing I remember seeing was people were... But and I, I remember the name. I'm like, are they serious? Like, I thought they were... I thought it was like a... Uh, joke oh, or something. March 2017, SpaceX filed plans for the FCC for oh, more than 7,500. So that's that timeline is is a lot different than I thought. You know, and they first launched those first uh, tin. What was it? Tin tin A and tin tin B or whatever. The they had two testers, uh, like test satellites, way back. That was 2018, February 2018 already. So over hmm. to, I don't know, that just blows my mind. I feel like it does seem like it was more recent. Like a year it? ago, it yeah. feels like. Yeah. Do you remember when Tesla unveiled the Roadster? Um, yeah. yeah, we talked about this on the show. I thought it was like last year. <laughs> November 2017. Oh, the new Roadster. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's sad. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.